In the wake of the two-year-old boy's tragic death, investigators worked to piece together a timeline. A family and community in Murray County grieved the death of this little boy in yesterday's mobile home fire tonight. News Channel 9's John Madewell looks into the next steps. John. Well, John and Kim, an official cause hasn't yet been released, but several indications point to an un unattended grease fire. Right now, state and local investigators are trying to determine how long the young mother was gone. Flowers and stuffed animals rest outside. Inside, the tragic death of two-year-old Jose Arasola. This afternoon, his father's family made the long, painful trip from Texas. Relatives remain too distraught to talk. The boy's mother, Mariela Guerrero, told investigators she had left a pot of grease on the stove. Neighbors say she walked to this next-door mobile home to get paper towels. This afternoon, we spoke with Georgia's fire marshal. I understand that it was in about a uh, four quart pot, about a quart, quart of full. So we're, we're just trying to, to see if we can find if that's the Chief Deputy Ray Sitton tells us when the mother left, the boy was on the couch. But once inside the burned mobile home, he was found on a bed. Sitton says the next move will be tough for everyone. It'll be between our investigation, state fire marshal, and the DA's office. Do we know how long she was gone from the house? Uh, well, we have her statement, but we're still trying to validate that. Right now, I, I, I hate to speculate. What was her statement? Uh, I believe three to four minutes. Investigators know the stove's an electrical one. They will also try to determine a flashpoint. So the other aspect that you got to look at is what kind of uh, pot or uh, appliance that the grease was put in. You know, was it cast iron, aluminum, stainless steel, things like that. If it was cooking oil, they'll take it and determine how long it took it to smolder or turn into fire, and they'll go through all that test. Now, District Attorney Burt Poston says his office will look at both in investigation one, investigations once complete, and Poston says it is way too early to determine if any charges will happen. John? Well, well, John, you've mentioned a large family in your story. Where are the other children right now? Well, there are four other children, and at the time of the fire, we have understood that they were at school, and we also understand from a family member of the father, they tell me that they are right now staying with their maternal grandmother. Mm, such a heartbreaking story. Absolutely. All right, Absolutely. thanks for staying on top of it. Appreciate it, John.